Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Jordan Wolf. I'm the Assistant Director of Hope Together, and I'm here to share with you some amazing research called Talking Toddlers. It's about parents of children aged 0 to 4 and their engagement with the church. We've done this in partnership. Hope, the Evangelical Alliance and the Church of England. And we're so excited about it because we think it's strategic for church growth in the UK. Why have we done this research? We've done it because, well, you might have heard of something called Talking Jesus. That was research that we looked at in 2015. We followed that with Mapping Practicing Christians in 2017. And it was in that piece of research that we discovered this amazing statistic. 40% of practicing Christians I'll just define them for you. They are Christians who are regularly attend or a part of a worshipping community at least once a month and who read their Bibles and who pray or listen to the Bible and pray at least weekly. Well, we discovered when we asked this group of people how at what age did they come to faith that 40% of them said it was under the age of five. They said it was when they were naught to four. 40% of practicing Christians said they came to faith when they were aged naught to four. Well, what's going on there? How exciting is that? What an incredible impact we're having on a really young generation. In fact, it was the generation that we were having the biggest impact on. We were reaching more people under the age of five than any other generation. And we wanted to know and think about what would it take to reach all of those under the age of five? If we could reach everybody under that age bracket in our nation, we could turn around and look at church growth in an extraordinary way. If they're the age bracket that are so open, how could we actually meet them? Well, the key is obviously going to be through their parents and their families. So this is how this research started. We went to an amazing company called Comrade Savanta who helped us with this. And we decided to do some research. We looked at 1,182 parents of children under the age of five. We did this on an online survey that they answered the questions. And we did it at the beginning of 2020 in February. We looked specifically at three groups. We looked at the fringe parents. They were the ones who we really wanted to know about. Those who are in uh, contact with us as church, but would not meet perhaps all of those parameters of a practicing Christian. We looked at those who are currently unreached. So how many of these parents of naught to five and naught to fours do we have who we've actually not got any contact with. And then we looked at this amazing thing, if you like, our team. That's the active Christians, the parents of under, under fives who are actually already part, if you like, of the church and the church life, who might be seen as the team that we could skill up even more to reach the others. What did we discover? Well, it's amazing. We discovered that 12% of the parents of the under fives are actually practicing and active Christians. This is a bigger segment than you would expect, um, than, you, when, than we expected. If you like, the whole population, 6% of the whole population are active or practicing Christians. So in this group, it's way more. In fact, we've got double the team than, we would, well, than we've got in, um, across the whole of the population. So that is an amazing start. Then we discovered this. 62% of the parents of the under fives are actually already in contact with the church in the UK. That is staggering. That adds up to an incredible 74% of parents with children under the age of five who we are in contact with. That's an amazing opportunity. In fact, it was only 25% of that group of the parents of the under fives who we don't have contact with. So we wanted to find out more. What and how are they in contact with us? Well, more than eight in 10 fringe parents say that their children attend a regular activity in the past 12 months in our churches. That's incredible. That's 86% who are regularly in contact with us. In fact, most people attended at least 2.4. That was the average number of attendances that um, these parents and their children made into our different church activities. You can see here, here, there's a whole list and we've got so much more detail in this research than I've got time for now, but we'd love you to come and dig deeper. And if you look at the website, you'll be able to do a bit more digging or find out where and how you can do that. But the big message is we have this incredible group of fringe parents. They are majority in regular contact with us as the church. And that is staggeringly good news. 
but we asked them why did they come along? What were the big things that brought them into contact with us? Why were they there? The number one thing is they thought their children would enjoy it. Great news. And actually, let's face it, if their children weren't enjoying it, I guess they wouldn't come back. So that's got to be good news, that the church is doing something that they see is really positive for their children. And they wanted their children to make friends. They wanted their children to learn good values. So we know when we're talking to people about what we put on as church, that these are the things, these are the draws that help them to bring their children along. And then we ask them a fantastically important question. Why were they there? How did they find out about it? Well, just like our Talking Jesus research that we did early on, we discovered that word of mouth was so important. Everything relies on us as Christians to tell other people. It hasn't changed from the commission that Jesus gave us. And it's exactly the same. The majority, the vast majority of those parents who were in our fringe category, who were coming on regularly to the church, were coming because somebody invited them. It was word of mouth. 73% said word of mouth was the key reason they came. And so we need to keep on giving that confidence to our active Christian parents to keep inviting those other parents who are both um, fringe and those who aren't regular to come to more things if they're in the fringe so they might go deeper and learn more. And if they're in the unreached group to come for the first time. Really exciting. Well, we also discovered, were they welcomed? Did they really feel welcome by the church when they came? And it's amazing, 84% of the parents of this fringe category said that they felt welcome when they came along to us as a church. So that's just fantastic good news. Well done church for welcoming this generation and their parents into us to come and meet us and to come be part of our church life. That is fantastically good news. And we just want to say a massive well done. And now one of the most exciting things to ask, have the parents, because they've been there with their children, begun to explore their own beliefs? 55% of our fringe parents said that because they had come along with their children to these activities and been um, touched by the church life, they have begun to explore their own beliefs. That is such an open door for us as a missionary church to engage with them and help them on that journey, to explore their own belief and to help their children as their children come further into belief. Because actually 55% wanted to help their children. They came because they wanted their children to know Bible stories. And 54% wanted their children to be able to explore religious beliefs. We as a church have an incredible opportunity to both reach that generation of children and their parents. It's staggering. It's such an open door for us. What about the group who are currently unreached? How did this research tell us about them? Well, some of them had been invited, but they told us the main reason they couldn't come were things like just it was inconvenient. Um, they were really like, they weren't, weren't big reasons why they couldn't, they're big reasons why they couldn't come, but they weren't reasons that we couldn't change. Things like an, just a bad time. So we might want to try and work out with them better times at which to put things on so that they might come along. So they didn't have a real objection. It was more that the time was just unsuitable. And um, we found out that, of course, many of these parents do work as well. There's a lot of working parents in this age bracket. And um, so we need to really think about what we do and when we do it to reach the most parents and their children of the under fives. We also discovered that 35% of these unreached parents said they'd love, actually, they'd like to be invited to these activities especially by somebody that they knew. So we go right back to the reason why the fringe parents were there in the first place, someone invited them. And it's amazing, 35% of those who are currently unreached are waiting for us to invite them along to something. Incredibly good news. So let's find out a little bit more about our team. What about the active Christian parents? Well, actually, they said, nine in 10 active Christian parents said they have regular contact with these unreached parents. And the majority of them had had opportunities um, to talk to them or to invite them along to something that the church was doing. So we want to say, it's amazing. We've got a really active team. And if we work together, just think about how incredible this opportunity could be.
So we found out some amazing key things that we have this incredible group of um, fringe parents of the under fives. We've got this staggeringly excellent sized team who are already active and we want to just put more energy and more enthusiasm behind them. We want to take that fringe group deeper on in their journey of faith because that's really important for them to explore their faith and we want to see that if you like really work hard on that pipeline of how that might happen. And we want to reach more of those that are currently unreached because it's such an opportunity. We could do this together. We could do it across a nation. We could reach a generation in an incredible way if we did this together. So particularly if you're a church leader listening to this, what are you going to do to resource the reaching of this generation? What are you going to do strategically to think more about this, to bring it into the centre of your church's life and the centre of our church's strategy so that together we can reach a generation? Thank you so much for listening. That's been Talking Toddlers. And we'd love you to just look at the website, found out, find out more about how you can get engaged and what other resources we have for you to help you with this incredible task as we reach a generation and their parents with the good news and love of Jesus.